Many of you are like, why is this on social media? It is the only way that I can fight back, clear my reputation, and try to put an end to this, to this madness. Justin Dane is trying to prove a point. Cora Obidi is trying to prove a point. But every day, Justin will say he's trying to move on for Madna Madi, but he keeps throwing shade. The moment they will advise both of them to move on, the next thing, Justin will bring shade, 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 either shade video or shade quote. Justin, Cora will reply you anytime you shade that. And you too, <laughs> if Cora shades you, you will reply in her. So, you both are madi madi see, don't come at you and come and deceive any people with that, you know, <laughs> my correct, correct people, as I talk to now. So, just in day, don't come back. See, this one, when they carry on a bombshell. But before I do the bombshell, make we watch easy, baby, reaction. My correct, correct people, easy. Say she don't disagree to agree with Justin lie. Say make Justin bring better proof before we go believe. Mm. Justin throw boom for social media, not Facebook. Boom for social media. So Justin come out. He say Kora carry five more sold belly. Go Nigeria. Take go sit down on top prick. Not just prick. He say Kora friend they do wedding. Kora go Nigeria to attend the wedding. Collect the fiance of her friend prick. She sit down on top. Five months old belly. Now, this one come bring me to. Was that the reason why Justin Park load three days or before this after baby come Athena? Come on for us. And then again, when Justin talk this thing, everywhere they smoke. Most People, where you know, expect tweet about this thing. I can't they think. So, Justin, talk this thing. I won't see phone number where post where send out this thing. If it takes screenshots for Cora phone, right? Say, it's here. I won't see the number, not hide the number. Because, say something, I trust Nigerians. We are intelligent, we are smart, clever. We easily get agitated. Something they son us. Especially you see Cora behavior. It go irritate many Nigerians. And I tell you, the acid whatever where she say happened to her, many people not buy her. So Nigerians feel provoke. And they come up with anything and send it to Justin. Right? So, is that what Justin is doing? Using our intelligence. You know, say we get them. Content they do for social media, and we we be say now we they cook the cook. We actually won't buy them. I won't see phone number. See, I be Nigerian, typical one, right? Now there in a zubozo way. Nigerian man go sleep with pregnant woman. He go refer to pregnancy. Una de Chris, Nigerian man, Nigerian man. It can refer to your tooth. You see your belly, not a consigner. Say something. He said a five months old. Right? How come Cora go call her prick? All of a sudden, the guy can say, Hope I not jam jam just in Peking. Athena. Does it make sense to you? Normally, parents, we say we day abroad, civilization, we tell people how many months pregnancy we get, we know they fear anything. Now, from seven months, parents, they release their picking name. Seven months pregnancy. And you don't tell public, except as Cora Bishi, they public eye. Sometimes, seven months old, you put them out there. But your family member inside us don't already know, even sometimes before the baby is conceived. So Cora go collect prick. She can't tell the guy, I'm pregnant of Athena. Does it make sense to you? Then the guy want to send message. Hope I did not Nigerian man go refer to your pregnancy. Stop now. Wanna stop now. Except say that man, he don't plan now. He won't scam you. He won't blackmail you. He won't come expose you. That's when they do that. So that message, it be like what it was made up. I want to see dates and year. 
Maybe you show and I not see him. The ones when I see for blood, he not get date, he not get phone number, he not get year. If he did, me kuna correct me. And I go do another video to show say I ah, make kuna no vessel. Me kuna put them for comment session. I want to see it. Did Justin show the year? I know say could I do video where they call say from two years ago, which is absolutely right. Two years ago. I think Athena is two years awaiting now. It's been two years. I'm not saying Justin, not come and cry or talk anything. You see where Kora for talk say, eh, blog, don't give him attention. He want attention. He want attention. You, they talk him at her sometimes, say they make money. He not get choice. He can come at, he have his own Facebook page. If you want to talk about it, he can talk about you. I wish you know they talk about and you just move on, leave on. He get one day one and go cut you. The video he can. You too, they use that man find attention. So if he can drop big one on you everywhere, can cash fire. You no need to cry. I wish you just off with the mind your business. They go. You not gonna talk about nursery. You not gonna talk about it's not paying school fees. You just they do your. You know say now you be the oh girl uh, one year ago. Now you they make money. You make person. That can kind of person you supposed to keep quiet. Use your totote, they make your money for your videos. Use your body, use anything where you did no say you they dance with nyanu, hey, you they open totote, you they open nyash, you they do this one. Use and make your money and forget about this man. But you not forget about this man. Now, now this man says, say, hey, AJ, he say that so they post something for your face. Everywhere they post you, he won't join the trend. He won't enter inside. If they find something, way into want to draw traffic to his page. Now, now, you need to get sense. Move on. Stop anything to do with her. If they put her for comment session, pretend like say you not see her. So for that one, mm -mm, Justin can talk as much as he like. Now he get a mask, now he get a platform, now he get anything way like make you do. But the thing, fat remains, say, I don't believe that. I need more proof. I too love Nigerians and I trust Nigerians. They go do things. Send give Justin. You feel me? You might not like my point. I know say there are a lot of yeah yeah people where they support Kora. They, 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 they do like small, small picking, they follow small picking, yash, they call the yeah over kita like you know, kita like, whoa, 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 whoa. I want to protect her. Kora know what is she they do. And Justina ain't married again for years. It to know what they do. Now their business. Do you understand what I mean? If she carried to Togo, Nigeria, she no carried to Togo, Nigeria. Now she know. Because of Kora lifestyle, many people buy them. I they talk about prick and Toto. If you see my yash on top prick, if my husband come tomorrow, talk say, I cheat. You think people will defend me? You think people will say, oh, nah, it's a lie, it's a lie. She's just saying it in her video. It's, you think he, you, he would, you people would defend me and say it's a lie? No, they won't. They will absolutely believe it. And I can tell you in most of my videos, the things I say, I stretch it. I exaggerate it. I, I, why I not go social media, Chris? Don't be social media. You concern me. You feel me? Tomorrow, any man can use that against you. And if it happen, I guarantee you, 70% of people would believe, say yes, what my husband talk is true. So I want you to have that at the back of your mind when you do something. I want more proof. I'm sorry. Make on an office. Just sing. Throw away the rest receipts. I want to see it. Do. Nightclub named after my wife's genitalia. Um... I wasn't going to tell this story, but I'm still being encouraged <clears throat> still being encouraged to harass me. And cyber harassment is not okay. It's not cool. I do not support it. I do not recommend it. And I do not ask anyone to do it for me. Uh, never have, never will. I do, however, support people telling the truth. Um, my ex-wife got on her, on, her, on her social media and trying to make it seem like I'm obsessed with her calling me Mr. Cora Obiddy. I want to move on with my life. I want her to leave my name out of her mouth, and I want to stop being harassed for crimes I never committed. I've already proven that I did not beat her up until she had a miscarriage. I already I've already proven this in court, in a court of law, and it, I'm still being harassed for it, and it's being perpetuated out of her mouth after I won in court. So, 
Um, she's calling me Mr. Coro Biddy, which is really funny because her last name is still Dean. She's still carrying my name. My children's name is Dean. I want nothing to do with the Obiddy family. They are a family of scammers. They are a fam family of liars. All they do is get on the internet and perpetuate lies. So I want nothing to do with them now that that's clear. Um, coordinating a smear campaign. Let's talk about what a smear campaign is. A smear campaign is when you go public repeatedly over time with lies. In order for something to be a smear campaign, it has to be untrue. If it is true, which I can prove in every, in, in every single statement I've made, I can prove by either text messages, voice notes that I've recorded, which I will not record online because it's illegal. I will not play online because it's legal. Or witnesses. What the story I'm about to tell you has witnesses that will be willing to testify in court if we ever need to go that route. But what I want is to move on and stop having her name come out of my, my, my name, come out of her mouth and, and stop the harassment. So it's not, it's, um, <clears throat> people are harassing me and I'm just telling the truth of what I endured and that's it. This is me reclaiming my life. When you're in a relationship with a toxic or not narcissistic person, they want to control you. They want to control you emotionally, physically, financially, and spiritually. Even after you get it, even after you leave, they still want to control you in every conceivable way. This series has been very therapeutic for me because it is reestablishing my own control of my life rather than it being controlled by her and what she says. <clears throat> so let's, let's get started. In 2020, um, it was during COVID lockdown. This is, this is when she, um, this is when she claimed that I was locking her in the house, but it was actually a COVID lockdown. And, um, I encouraged her to get off social media for 10 days or two weeks to, do something else, like, because she was too consumed by it, spending 18 hours a day scrolling. And I thought it would be good for her mental health if she got outside and went for a walk, um, worked on other projects, rather than just scrolling other people's content as market research. And after about 10 days, um, without revealing anything medical, let's just say she had a mental, a mental crisis. And she broke down and told me that she had cheated on me okay well we already had a kid and I was upset but it, it occurred after I had left to the United States to work on building a business building a life for us while she was still in Nigeria so in her mind it was justified because we were not legally married in the United States yet and indeed we were not so her justification for cheating, and she would not apologize to me, so we thought about this for six months. She wouldn't apologize. She would say we weren't married, meaning that the traditional marriage doesn't count. And also, she would say, it's not cheating if you use a condom. This is what I was told for six months. I had to get her father involved, I had to get her family involved and be like, talk some sense into this woman so we can move past this. As, as a result of her inability to take accountability for the hurt that she caused me, she bailed. She went to Nigeria with June. I believe this is around September or something, September, November. And once she got there, she told me that she was going to raise June in Nigeria and I would never see my daughter again. And Naturally, many of you know, my weakness is my kids. I love my kids dearly. And I'm doing this so that I can be the best version of myself for my kids. Because if somebody's trying to destroy their life, I expect them to stand up for themselves. <clears throat> and I also expect them, if they start to get into a toxic relationship, that they leave. So, which I did not do. That was my mistake. 
So anyway, so she's in Nigeria, hanging out with the guy that she cheated on me with, making videos with the guy that she cheated on me with, and just to, just to emotionally upset me. So I, I didn't know what to do, so I went on a vacation. I went to Brazil, and I went to Costa Rica to clear my head, and I was, at this point, her words were, we are divorced now. I'm like, I'm not coming back to America. So she's in Nigeria telling me I'm never going to see my daughter again. And I'm like trying to think about what to do. So I, I came to the conclusion I had to go to Nigeria to get my daughter. So my intention was to go to Nigeria and get my daughter and not get back with her. Well, the family formed an intervention and her father who I respected quite a lot at that time, which I no longer have any respect for whatsoever, um, <clears throat> begged me, got on his knees and cried, and begged me to forgive her. And then she did apologize. And, and I was so torn, and, but my desire was to keep the family intact. So I, I, I got back with her at this time. And it, everything was looking, everything was looking good, and we were hanging out, and we were back to our old selves. You know, this is the the toxic spiral. It's like extreme highs by extreme lows. Okay. So then one night, <clears throat> and this is probably the most traumatic experience of my life so far, including I've had a few new, near death experiences, not traumatic. This is the most traumatic experience of my life that a person could be so out of tune with like or I don't know if it was meant to hurt me or she's just so she doesn't she just doesn't understand her actions and how they hurt people. But we were going out to the club one night and the club was named Moist. It's in Lagos, Nigeria. And I'm hanging out there with some of my friends because I do have many Nigerian friends and her and Two of my friends overheard her. Well, first, let's back up. This white guy comes up and shakes my hand and gives me a hug. And I was like, who's this guy? He was the owner of the club. His name is Joe. And um, he comes up and embraces me like a brother, right? And I'm like, okay, this is weird. And then she told me, that's Joe. And I was like, what? And then she proceeded to tell me that... When they were together, she came up with the name of the club, Moist, because she has a moist <coughs> vagina. And my, two of my friends overheard this. And I didn't know what to do. You would have thought that I would have got angry, made a scene. I shut down. I just shut down and sat on the couch in complete disbelief that someone could could be so disrespectful and have so much lack of respect that you that she could bring me to a club named after her genitalia while married to me and brag about it and i just it's the most traumatic experience of my life. At this point, Justin Dean is making Cora to regret ever knowing him. And on the other hand, Justin is regretting ever knowing Cora. Because at this point, anybody will go say they support Justin. We use Justin to bless you. Make somebody like Justin be your marriage. And on the other hand, this commenter don't come back or remind Justin. Don't you know when to stop? Have you no have a shame? Have you no shame, see? That is what they are telling Justin. The person say, have you no no shame or what? Don't you even have any atom of pity for your innocent children 
who raised you, please? Quake of Jesus Christ, just in this question, he carried a power. I don't know the one where they drag Korah, they drag the parent of Korah, they put inside. Eh, make you remember the sweet time because if Korah come out now, come begin to drag your family people inside. Make nobody come out and they say, hey, you not get respect. I bet make you not give the respect for one corner because Justin don't say respect to way since before he come out, they drag Koro Bidi Papa. As the mother, they play she shall see another commenter. Come, come back, come take Justin. They say, if I were you, Dr. Justin, I will just move on and far apart from her and block her on social media for the little one's sake. They deserve a break and are the ones who will be more affected than the two of you. Exactly. Remember, they will still have to go to school and be around nasty crowds. Please, is this adult back and fought fight good for them? The viewers might be very confused at this point. But if you're a blogger and you have been into this matter from the very beginning, you go understand saying now Justin, no one move on. Justin, please embrace peace and move on because you are using your own bitter story to entertain viewers. Move on. Thank you, my people, for watching. Bye, guys.